God says to come unto you whether you are here and whether you will forbear. What does God want you to look here? He wants you to hear his laws, statutes, and commandments. You brothers and sisters of God have no clue who you are. Deuteronomy 7 verse 6. You have no clue who you are. You are the greatest people ever to step foot on this planet Earth. But look at your position today. Look at the black women walking around with the white woman's hair on her head. You black men walking around with your pants below your butt. Trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents. Hustling! Meanwhile, the other nations are living rich like the Chinese man who comes into your land and takes all your resources and money. Look at China Wall. China Wall by the Chinese. How much are you getting per hour, per day, bi-weekly? Nothing. Eight CDs, 10 CDs, 20 CDs. Meanwhile, they're getting rich off of you. Shalom Israel, Most High in Christ Bless, Deacon Abiel here. We are here in Kumasi, Ghana, and I am completely blown away. As you can see behind me, we have the new school. It's in construction. It's being built from the ground up. Everybody's putting a brick in, y'all. It's your turn. Donate, donate, donate. As you can see where your money go. We're not pocketing your money. We're not driving expensive cars. We are doing the work Most High God put in our heart to do, just like in the book of Nehemiah. You guys out there in all the countries watching, you've been the key to this taking place. Without your donations and your help, we wouldn't be where we're at now. You understand? The Lord says, as you know in Ezekiel, build sanctuaries. This is the first of many Lord's world that we're building. Put your brick in. We need your donations. We need your help. As you all see, this right here is fulfillment of prophecy. The scripture says that this gospel of the kingdom is going to be preached to the whole world as a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come what you see right here is fulfillment of prophecy put your brick in twiddle your thumbs those of you all that's not here ain't boots on the ground you have a way to help around like this is the kingdom of heaven when you look on the floor all you see is garbage what else you see a, a whole bunch of people confused you got the brother trying to pass out flyers that pertain to your salvation a lot of you just walking by you got the black woman with the white woman's hair on her head what does she do she waves her hand and squints her eyes a lot of you if you don't repent you're gonna die right here in Africa a lot of you are comfortable with your state Where's your gold? At one time they called God of the gold post. Where is your gold? There ain't no more gold here. The white man took it all. He gave you white man Jesus. He gave you religions. And he took all your gold. Comes to your land, takes your resources, and sleeps with your woman. A lot of you are comfortable. Too damn comfortable. Read this. Look up at these seven. Chapter 7 and 7. Surely, a person met at the right man mad. And they did destroy the hat. Read this. The Bible says, surely oppression makes a wise man mad. Where are you brothers at? All I see is grown men walking past the word of God. Y'all act like you don't hear the Bible coming out. Y'all don't give a damn. The Bible says, surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. You should be mad. Look at, look at your living conditions. Look at how you're living. Right. Selling little shoes on the street trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents. Garbage all over the place. Meanwhile, the white man comes here and he lives rich. Why? Because he took all of your resources. What did he give you? White man Jesus. Where is white man Jesus in the Bible, black woman? Where is white man Jesus in the Bible? You're comfortable. You're too damn comfortable in your position. Translate. Especially for that black woman right there with the green shirt. Translate. Translate. You go to the Nana. Then you all grow. You'll be as you know, and numb as a swan. I'm a voice as well to know. 
am I adding her as I? You go, you go, but you are adding her as I. And then I'm going to add to us. I'm saying, as well, everyone has a poor Adam. Give me the book of Ezekiel now. The book of Ezekiel. A lot of you don't know this is your book. This is your history book. The Bible is the black man's constitution, right. history book. People of Ghana, this is your book. Right. This is your constitution. The Bible is not a book about different religions. The Bible is about laws, statutes, and commandments. Right. Give me um, Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 17. Come on. Book of Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth. And give them warning from me. So we're trying to warn you from God. We are trying to give you warning. Why? Because many of you walking around breaking the commandments of God. Many of you have not started the process of repenting for your sins. Right here in Ghana. I'll give you an example. Adultery, fornication, idolatry, working on the Sabbath, eating bush meat, worshiping the white man. Guess what? That's all sin. God says, make you a watchman unto Israel and give them warning from me. Translate. So you Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 11, come on. Who can be visited chapter 3 verse 11? And go, they be to them of their captivity unto the children of thy people. Who's the children of thy people, you Israelites? You Ghanaian brothers and sisters walking by, God calls you the children of Israel. He said, get ye to the children of thy captivity. Your forefathers were the ones that were taken into captivity right there in Elmina Castle and Cape Coast. It was your forefathers that was brought to the Americas on cargo slave ships. Right. And the remnants of you stay back. You are the children of thy captivity. Yes. You are the children of Israel. That's right. right. And whether you will forbear. What does God want you to hear? He wants you to hear his laws, statutes, and commandments. You brothers and sisters of God, I have no clue who you are. Deuteronomy 7 verse 6. You have no clue who you are. You are the greatest people ever to step foot on this planet Earth. That's right. Now look at your position today. Look at the black woman walking around with the white woman's hair on her head. You black men walking around with your pants below your butt. Trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents. Hustling! Right. Meanwhile, the other nations are living rich, like the Chinese man who comes into your land and takes all your resources and money. Look at China Mall. China Mall by the Chinese. How much are you getting per hour, per day, bi-weekly? Nothing. Eight CDs, ten CDs, twenty CDs. Meanwhile, they're getting rich off of you. Right. You are under the curses of God and you have no idea. Come on. So what, is the, what does God have to say about the Ghanaian people? Deuteronomy 7 verse 6. Look at the Torah chapter 7 verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people. What did the Bible say? The Bible says that God has chosen you to be a special people. God made every nation on this planet Earth. But he said, no, I'm choosing you Ghanaians as my chosen people. You are the Israelites from the tribe of 
Judah. Right. You're not Africans. God calls you the tribe of Judah. Right. And the nations know this, but they keep it hidden from you. God says you are above all people which are upon the face of this earth. We, the Lord thy God, has what we need to be a special people of doing best about all people. God said he chose you to be a That's not biblical. God says you are a special people above all people. It's time to rise up and keep God's commandments. Read it again. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. Has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. The seven. The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor chose you, because you were more in number than any people. For you were the fears of all people. But because the Lord loved you. You hear what they're saying? It says, you hear that black man? The Bible says the Lord loved you. So let me ask you, brothers and sisters, how many of you love God? Put your hands up. Come on, I know you understand English. I know I don't speak tree. How many of you love God? Black woman right there, you love God? Do you love God? Well, the Bible says a woman is not supposed to wear pants. Did you know that? Did you know the Bible says a woman is not supposed to wear pants? Black man right there, you love God? You, you, I'm pointing at you, you love God? The Bible says you're not supposed to put boldness upon your head. The Bible says a black man, the Israelite man, is supposed to grow his beard. Right. My sister right there on the cell phone that was laughing and mocking earlier. You with the green shirt and the braids, yes, I'm talking to you. The Bible says the black woman is not supposed to wear pants. Let's get that, Deuteronomy 22 verse 5. Because we know some of y'all understand English. You're trying to put on the front like you don't understand English. God got your number. Because the Bible cuts every way, in every language. Deuteronomy 22 verse 5. Read it for the black women that love to wear pants in Ghana in 100 degree weather. Come on. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. If I had on a dress right now, what would you think? What would you think? How do you say homosexual in tree? Trumutu. Huh? Trumutu. Trumantu. 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 If I had on a dress, you would think I'm a Trumantu. Right. The Bible says when the black woman wears pants, God says you're an abominable thing. Yes. So you black women are walking around and say you love God, take off the pants. Right. You black women take off the jeans. My sister right there sitting down with the green shirt, take off the pants. Put on a dress. Read it again. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Now get me Leviticus 21 verse 5 from my brother right here. Brother right here with the bald head again. No, no, him right there. Him, 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 him. You, you, you understand, nigga. So look away. Let me ask you something. You said you love God, right? Let me show you a law that you got to keep. And this is not, I'm not trying to pick on you. I'm not trying to pick on you. I want to show you something that you were never taught. Because at one time, I used to be just like you. Shave the beard, try to look all pretty for the woman. Watch this. Book of Leviticus chapter 21 verse 5. They shall not make burden upon their heads. So there's a law that God gave the Israelites. You're an Israelite. God says don't make baldness on your head with a razor. Go ahead. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Hear what the Bible says? It says neither to shave off the corner of your beard. No. Nor make any cutting in your flesh. So a lot of you walk around with tribal marks. God says don't do that. God says don't do that. Translate. So now people say, and born to you Sakura. Bema, Israel you Bema, and it's all you to this Sakura. And that's how you are living in the United States. Bema, Israel, you also who are beard. So who you to this Sakura, and that's how you are living now. Who you are to what you are in the Kopo. And that's how it's all tribal marks. And that's how you are in the Kopo. So that's how you are. Yes, I am a good man, sir. I see a kitty. But you can't say that I'm not trying to sign your money. I didn't tell you, so I'm not sign your money. So God has a message to you, black man, black woman. Yeah, we got a address on there and phone number. Hit us up, okay? Because like I said earlier, a lot of you black women, you're too damn comfortable now. Walking around, 
right? Not paying attention to the word of God. Give me Isaiah 3 verse 16. I got a challenge for you black women right here. Come on. Uh, YouTube sister, this is for you. Come on. Isaiah chapter 3 verse 16. Come on. Yoruba, the Lord said, because the daughter of Zion are haughty. God says the daughters of Zion are haughty. Who's the daughter of Zion? You black Ghanaian woman. You are the daughters of Zion. Come on. Because the daughters of Zion are haughty. They walk, they walk with stretch what neck. A lot of you walk with your neck stuck out. You don't want to hear what God has to say. You don't want to hear what the black man that's reading the Bible has to say. But I guarantee you if a broom you were standing right here before you, a lot of you would bow down. A lot of you would bow down if the white man was standing right here. You know why? Because you love you the white man. You love you some white Jesus. Come on. Walk in. Come on. Welcome is let's what neck and want to eyes. Walking and ministering as they go. And making twinkling with your feet. So God says because you reject the laws of God and you walk around with an attitude, you shun the Bible, you shun the prophets, black women. What did the Bible say? Read. Therefore, that's said the Lord. I, the Lord will smite the scalp of the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion. And the Lord will discover their secret path. What did God say right here? He's gonna say, he said he's gonna smite the crown of the head. You know what that's talking about? Baldness. Baldness. You wanna know why the black woman in Ghana's walking around with a weed? She has no hair. Right. You wanna know why you can't grow no hair? Because it is a curse. I challenge all of you black women that's walking around with weeds. Take the weed off. What are you gonna see baldness? Just ask my sister right there. Ask my sister right there what happens if she used to remove those braids. All you would see is baldness. Right. Why can't you grow your hair? Because of your rebelliousness to God. Right. That's biblical. That is biblical. Translate. Hey, ask for in tree. Ask her what does she think about our the young generation of women walking around now with pain. Go ask her, ask her. Hurry up, hurry up, come on, you can move your feet. Ask her. Because we got many of the older generation of black sisters walking around with their dresses on. Sister, when you go home, put on a dress, alright? This is not to pick on you, this is just to teach you the laws of God. Put on a dress. Put on a dress. What did she say, Ifa? What did she say? Huh? It makes them what? Free. Come on. It says it makes them free when they put on their pants. It makes them free. Let me show you what really makes you free. And you're right. It makes them free according to the white man. The white man told them it's okay to wear pants. That all started by the so-called white woman in the movement in um in the United States. The women's suffrage movement. When the white woman was fighting for the rights to be equal to the white man. And she seduced the black woman to go along with her. Now in Africa, the black women want to do everything that the American black women want to do. But let me show you something. John 8 verse 32. The book of John chapter 8 verse 32. This is what makes you free. I'm going to show you. Go ahead. The book of John chapter 8 verse 32. And ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. And you shall know the what? And ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. So what really sets our people free? Truth. What? Truth is what sets you free. Tell me that in Psalms. What is the truth? That you Ghanaians, you are the Israelites. You are not Ghanaians. You are not Ashantis. God calls you the Israelites from the tribe of Judah. That's who you are. Get me Psalms 119. What? Verse 142. Come on. Look at Psalms chapter 119 verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. And thy law is the truth. So what is the truth, black woman? Black man? The truth is God's laws. Now it's time to wake up and keep God's laws. What are some of God's laws? Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not covet. No more idolatry. Thou shalt stop eating bush meat. Yeah, we heard about the bush meat. We've seen it in the stores. We've seen it in your marketplaces. We've seen
seen it in your restaurants. God says to stop all of that. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.